Hello and welcome to the Virtual Care Basket. I'm Aisha Hilton and I invite you to find out more at virtualcarebasket.com. I hope you enjoy this interview. And then I moved into printmaking and I had a business teaching people screen printing for a little while and then I got really sick. So I've had my autoimmune condition for 10 years. I've been in and out of hospital and through my healing journey and way back to health, art has been my solace and it is a place that I can go and it is really sacred and special to me. And I hope that you'll really enjoy this process because we're all feeling really, really big emotions at the moment. And I feel like... You're on the loo, Marky? Being um, an intuitive myself and like really feeling with my big heart, I'm feeling all of the collective emotions as well. And art is a really great way to, to process and be in the moment, still our minds, focus on something new and yeah so I hope you enjoy uh so I guess this is a way that uh we can um all maybe collectively heal together in some way and towards the end of the call and towards the end of the session I'd really like if you Oh, my computer is a little bit unstable. Can everyone still hear me now? Now we can. Okay. Where did it, where did it, did it only just do a little glitch or did I freeze for a little while? It's it was only a little now. glitch. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Great. Um, so if everyone um, wouldn't, mind, wouldn't mind sharing maybe... Uh, um, some of the emotions that have been coming up for you. I know that I've gone the whole gamut. Like I've gone from fear because I, I'm at risk having an autoimmune condition. So I've self-isolated. Um, anger, frustration, worry about my family members, um, you know, really um, excited that I've got all of this time off work. <laughs> Um, Because I've been setting up my art studio and it's given me like this whole time freedom now and I'm able to um, be creative and do things that I enjoy. So there's a little chat box. I know some of you on your phone might need to like scroll through to get to the chat. But um, yeah, if you don't mind sharing maybe some of the emotions that you've been feeling yourself. And we'll just wait until people say something. Um, yeah, so this is about shifting energy and um, also just like being more mindful of what we have been um, feeling as well. Yeah, it is, it is, uh, so I should said I've been in a bit of a surprise that it's all real and not a movie. Uh, I guess we're faced with our morality and like I, we have never experienced this in our lifetime because everyone in the world is affected. It's not just some third world country is experiencing this pandemic. It is everyone. And it is like tapping into that safety and survival and all of those things. Scared and worried and then happy and excited, adrenaline, um, yeah, so, so they're, they're really big, anxious, overwhelmed. I've been feeling them all too. <laughs> so if everyone, I might go through the supplies as well. Uh, just a basic uh, piece of paper. Um, some of you might already have your supplies already out and ready to go. And I might just give those of you that don't have what they need um, a little bit of time to get what they need. So just a basic piece of paper and um, just a pencil. But if you've also got paints, you can immerse yourself in the full painting experience. 
Otherwise, you know, this is something that I'm teaching you that you might be able to use this ritual ongoing. So you might be able to use that in your life um, again and again. So I, I can see you all, but I cannot get volume. Um, Aisha? Oh, yes. On your phone, you may have not connected. You need to connect via device audio, Trudy. So if you can see there's a mute button and then there's like a triangle point like that, um, you can select which microphone or where you're going to hear it from. But if you're having trouble, the best thing is to just jump out and jump back on and then it should actually notify you to use device audio. So see how you go because we we want you to be able to hear us <laughs> for sure. All right. So um, the painting behind me is a quick little release work that I did yesterday. And I thought it would be nice and pretty to have it in the background. But I'm going to remove that now um, and I'm going to get into the exercise that we would like I'd like you to start with. And it is about recognizing some of those big emotions and putting it on that piece of paper. So I'm going to do it on this piece of paper, but then I'm going to transfer onto the, the big one at the moment. But you can use the whatever surface you're using, like whether it's a canvas or a piece of paper or whatever, you can use that now and you can just scribble away and uh, get, get all those feelings just onto the paper. And I'll just quickly show you like what, what I mean by that. So I'm just writing whatever it is and we're going to paint over the top of it and we're just going to shift that energy and just move it to another place. And hopefully by the end, you are feeling like a little step better because some of these emotions are quite big and scary. Um, and this process might be quite scary and you might feel quite vulnerable doing it as well. Um, so I want you to be compassionate with yourself and I want you to be tender and um, we're in a safe space here and just know that we've got so many people on the call. I'm so excited. <laughs> we're a big community here. And um, yeah, this is, this is a really, really special thing that you can do for yourself with your, for your own personal healing. I've written mine. I've okay. got shock, overwhelm, fatigue. I don't know if everyone else is feeling a bit tired by it all. And overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, me too. And and I'm seem to be eating more, so I'm going to put hungry. <laughs> it's not. Boring. I am going to agree with you. I have like, been eating my emotions. And but like, this is good. This is part of our <laughs> self care, not to overeat. I'm not even overeating. I just feel like I'm eating more, but not a heap more. But I'm more hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a problem with like stacking your cupboard with like months worth of food I know. <laughs> I know I normally just have what's ready enough for the next meal so Jackie shared that she's frustrated that's a good one disappointed confused mm. I'm going to add confused because it is confused. yeah and she also shared grateful and I'm, I'm going to put grateful, grateful on mine too because I have been feeling like there's big emotions but then there's also like really nice emotions as well because I've been setting up my art studio and this space and I'm so grateful for this time to do it. Usually I have to pace my energy because of my autoimmune disease, but now I'm not working. I've got all of this time to like really set up a beautiful space for myself. I think it's like a really, I think it's a gift. I know some people might not see it like that, but we've got this time to sit with ourselves, be with ourselves, be with our families and like really focus in on what's really important in our lives and really focus on what brings us joy because I think that's what's going to get us through like if you focus on what can bring you happiness and things that you can reach for in your life 
when you are feeling overwhelm and fear and anger and frustration, what are the things to sort of shift that into another place? Yeah, and I I agree. There's so many blessings in this. We were just having a virtual cuppa earlier as part of the virtual care basket and uh, we were saying we're connecting with people that we haven't connected with for a while or, you know, some people who have had relationship breakdowns with family members, they're putting that aside to actually heal that relationship and take care of each other. So it's really nice. Mm -hmm. So welcome, Marg. And Dawn said she thinks there will be a better world after this. Christy Lee is feeling inspired. And she's also shared disconnected, thankful, desire, elated, abundant, fear, anxious, worry, relax, happy, safe, secure, Mm -hmm. cocoon. So there's a lot of that like positive emotions and negative, like not negative, Mm -hmm. but like more challenging emotions. So Mm -hmm. it's good to share all of that on that page. So just for the people that are a little bit late and have just jumped on, what we're doing is we're writing on the piece of paper some of those big emotions that we've been feeling over the past couple of weeks with this coronavirus and we're going to use painting or if you've just got pencils that's fine we're just creating an artwork over the top of it and we're shifting our energy okay so now that you've recognized your feelings i'm going to get you to think about something that you'd like to bring into your life so what we're doing now is we're setting some new att- intentions So you might be able to uh, swap swap some of the words. So from fear, I might write love over the top. And I'm going to leave excitement because I still want to feel that. Um, So from, and then I've got worry. So I might put calm. So I want to feel more calm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen now and I've got a whole list of uh, positive intentions. And for those that won't won't be able to um, see my screen properly, I will just pick, because it's a big list, I'm just going to pick some words that stand out and you might be able to, whatever you're drawn to, you'll be able to write on your piece of paper or canvas or surface. So I want to bring more of into my life, comfort, groundedness, acceptance. I want to feel worthy, energized, loved, committed, nurtured, curious, optimistic, warm, uplifted, thankful, honest, Cheerful, joyful, balanced, compassionate. Trusting, playful, carefree, motivated, healthy, vibrant, enlightened, spontaneous, self-acceptance, enthusiastic, positive, energetic, delighted, inspired, confident, renewed, safe. Oh, that's a good one. All right, so I'm going to do that too. Does everyone still need me to continue sharing my screen with this set of of intentions? Just comment if you need if you need me to keep it up. I'll just leave it. Everyone's writing theirs down, so I think they might have enough. (laughs) All right. There's some great words there. I just saw delighted and enchanted. Makes it so they're so beautiful. I'll just leave it for a couple more seconds and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm just gonna move my chair. Actually, I'll leave, I'll just scroll down, scroll down again. 
I'll leave it for a couple more seconds. I'm going to move my chair and I'm going to set up for painting at the easel now. And Amy shared motivated, calm, balanced, accepted. They're really beautiful. And I chose calm, vibrant, safe, powerful. I want to feel powerful right now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> energized, healthy, grateful. And I put satisfied and I did that over my hungry. <laughs> so. <laughs> And if anyone else wants to share if they've finished. So Megan's got stable, pain-free, self-care. Yeah, that's we're really being called to do more self-care stuff at the moment, that's for sure. And Amy's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I just sh shoveled some toast in my mouth before because I've been going for about five hours now. <laughs> I'm like, that'll do. <laughs> okay. Can everyone see my canvas? Uh, you're still sharing your screen, oh, so okay. if you could share. <laughs> there we go. And then, yep, right. now with, that's better. Yep. How is everyone? Is that good? Yep, that's great. All right. So I'm going to remove this and set up my next one. So what I'll need to do is I'll just need to repeat that process again. Now, um... For those of you that are working with paints, something that might be easy is to um, set up your palette with some whites and that will allow you to mix quickly and easily. Also, if you have a spray bottle, it doesn't matter if you don't, um, but if you've got a water spray bottle, that's really good. A process that I teach in my in-person workshops is actually infusing, infusing essential oils into um, the little spray bottle. So I'm going to do that now for myself. I've got, I've chose a uh, bergamot and that's the oil of self acceptance. So um, I think it's something that I personally need and probably a lot of people uh, right now because we're being called to like really nurture and accept ourselves and just practice really good self-care because we need to keep fit and healthy so we don't get sick. Um, so Bergamo relieves um, fears and feelings of despair and it invites you to see more optimism. So I'm going to go back, go back and write my feelings. And um, so what you can do is if you've got a spray bottle, spray your paper. If not, you can start painting. So some of the things that I use, so I use essential oils to help me tap into this process. I have them going in the studio and that's how I use essential oils um, in my practice. And I've got a book and it's called Emotions and Essential Oils. And that really helps with to identify what spiritual energetic meaning the oil has. And I use that in my personal journaling work and it helps me sort of identify within myself like things that I want to shift and it helps me to like focus on the positive side. So emotion, um, essential oils are really powerful in shifting emotional states. So it's linked to our pr primitive brain as well. And you just, um, you just notice that straight, straight away. Uh, it, anyway, so I'm going to go back to writing my words. And then setting my new intent, attention. So I've got happiness, self-acceptance, um, energized, powerful, and safe. A 
Another thing that I use as well is Oracle Card. This might help you to start your painting for, that, for some of you that haven't started. Um, and it also helps, gives me, oh wait, this wanted to come out straight away. I was gonna shuffle the pack, but it jumped out. So this is the message. So it's yellow. So I'm gonna start with yellow. And it says, purify your body. And then the Oracle cards come with a little deck but I don't have time to um, go through the meaning and really sit with it. But that's what I do personally at home. I, I sit with what cut, the message of the card and then I write and journal and then I'll start with that starting colour. So that deck, I'll show you. It's called the Secret Language of Colour. Oh, that's really beautiful. By so Trudy's having trouble connecting. So I just suggest, Trudy, I've put the Facebook link. I'll do it again into the chat. It is streaming to Facebook, so you could listen to it there and then comment in here if you like. I know it's a bit awkward and I'm not sure how to fix that for you, my dear, but um, we'd love to keep you participating because I know you're going to enjoy it. So uh, if you want to jump on the Facebook, please do. It's funny that my yellow is really beautiful. It's the best, strongest colour in my palette, so it's going well. So for some of you that haven't painted or, like, haven't done anything like this before, your inner critic might be, like, yelling at you right now. And by inner critic, I mean that little narration inside of your head um, because I guess you might feel... Uh, a little bit intimidated by the materials because you're not used to using them. Um, and I just want you to be mindful of that and be compassionate with yourself and just redirect back into the process because if you start listening to the negative voices and the inner critic, then um, that's what stifles you. So I want you to be free and expressive with the movement of the pencil or the paintbrush. Um, I really want you to put your energy into it as well because this is an emotional release. So what we're doing is really working with shifting that energy and turning it into something else. So I'm using um, an abstract technique. I really love just being loose and free and expressive with my brush stroke. But if you feel guided to do something that is a bit more ordered, uh, go for it as well. Because, you know, you, you might want to create some symbols or representational art. Uh, you might want to create like a rainbow or a heart or um, just a, a beach scene or landscape. Just work with what feels good to you and just listen to that, those inner nudges and those, those guidance. So when you're choosing your colours, you might think blue and then just move on to it and, and don't overanalyze it. So I'm going to um, add in some orange because that's what I feel like this piece needs. Uh, so this is really like representing those feelings that I want to bring into my life. I want to feel energised. So it is actually not surprising that when I went to my Oracle deck that I um, picked up the yellow colour um, and it did say purify your body. So I've actually um, been focusing on that. I, I guess I try and lead a healthy lifestyle, but at the moment I've been eating a lot of my stockpiles of um, isolation food. So the last few days I have been focusing on bringing back like my good habits and healthy eating again and focusing on like more fruits and vegetables and drinking lots of water to like cleanse myself.
how is everyone going with this process? Does anyone have any questions? Do they feel stuck? Do they notice uh, if that negative voice is coming up or that inner critic? Uh, just comment if you're feeling stuck. If you're not, just go with the flow. Like I really, really want you to um, be free and expressive and yeah, just, just go with whatever feels really good because that's the whole point of this exercise. It's not about creating a perfect masterpiece or, or a perfect work of art. It's actually more about, so Jodie's asked, do we spray the essential oils on the paper? Yeah, if you've got a little spray bottle and um, a essential oil, just put one drop into the little spray bottle and then just spray it all over the paper. And then that will help your, um, your paint move across the paper and it'll help it blend into it and also solidify the intention and the energy into the piece. So when you're hanging it up on your fridge or hanging it up wherever you have a space for it at the end of this, it will remind you of that intention. And um, yeah, so for those of you that aren't using that as part of their process, that's fine as well. Maybe just during the creation process, just uh, think about those positive thoughts and think about setting new positive intentions into the piece and really feel into those emotions and then let the colours that you choose guide you and let the, the strokes that you use um, be representative of the emotion that you want to feel. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, my problem is I've got watercolours and I wrote in pencil and my words that I've crossed out, like everything's still visible, so I'll hold it up for you. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's because it... so. So you can use the pencil to go back over that as well. Okay. Um, and then I, even if you've got uh, pastels or yep. when it's got, dry, <laughs> yeah, um, you could do oil pastel over the top as well. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I would I would create layers and layers. Yeah, because the watercolor is um, a bit thin to do what I want. Yeah. And then you can also collage over the top of it as well. Okay. Yeah. Were there any other questions? Just type them in the chat. And you are welcome to unmute yourself. I've just muted just for clarity of hearing Laura speak. <laughs> but anyone's welcome to unmute. Do you want to un? Do you want to unmute? Oh, we might have a whole lot of um, chatter in the background. Yeah. But it, unmuting, unmuting everyone. Uh, probably not. Some people might not want to talk. But if anyone would like to share. Um, please unmute yourself if you don't know how to unmute at the bottom of your screen is a mute button and you can unmute yourself and if you'd just rather type any questions or any comments if anything's coming up for you feel free to share Laura I have a question for you mm -hmm. uh, it was around you, you said something about the oils that uh, you had a book um, yeah, I'll yeah, show you it. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Margie. <laughs> I, uh, I show you do it. I have a well, thought. It's called Emotions and Essential Oils. They have, this is a um, 2017 edition, but um, so it's from Enlighten, Enlighten Alternative Healing and their, their website, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll add the um, resources, <laughs> so I'll just read it to you whilst you're here. Um, so it's enlightenhealing.com and you can go to their website. Thank you. That's okay. So usually during my workshops, I have um, music going during this process so people can get fully immersed. But if we're posting this as a replay, then Facebook, we don't have any um, copyright free music. <laughs> 
to put onto it. Do you still want comments? Yeah. I have uh, started painting circles and it gave me, reminded me that um, life is a circle. It goes up and down, round and round, and uh, this too will pass. That's beautiful, Dawn. Um, I really resonate with that, actually. Um, and it might help prompt people as well, like, when we're creating our layering, if that has resonance with you, you can paint paint over and keep the flow going. Mm. I'm keeping what's underneath because um, it's there and it helps us grow. Yeah, I guess um, you sort of might forget about the exact words that and the feelings that you were um, trying to shift. So it might serve as a reminder. Lovely. I'm gonna put flowers around mine. That sounds very lovely. <laughs> How are we going for time, Aisha? It's 12.36. If anyone's really fast, oh, my internet connection's unstable. If we can still anyone, hear you. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's um, going through this process quite quickly, you're welcome to start another one as well. Because um, sometimes, like, we feel like we have to, like, keep working and working and working. And... It might, it might just go past that point as well. I also, or your paper's too wet like mine. <laughs> <needs Yeah>. to <laughs> dry. I probably should have said maybe get a few pieces of paper. But we'll... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, feel free to comment at any time. If anyone's using that yellow as a starting point, um, I might pull it up as well and see, read it to you. So yellow is the colour of intellect and mental stimulation. It can help you think more quickly and clearly and purify your digestive system with yellow rays of light. The message is to go outside and spend a few minutes looking and feeling the rays of sun on your skin. Imagine bright yellow sunlight moving through your whole digestive system, cleansing you. Sounds very nice. And the sun's shining here in Ballarat. Yeah, it is. And um, it says, allow my mind and body to be cleansed inside and out. Mm, that's lovely. So I use those. Um, I like to journal. I haven't journaled um, in the morning for a little while, but I had a practice and it's called the morning pages. And it's by... Uh, author she wrote a book and it's called the artist way and it's about it's a it's a program in um working through your creative blocks so the morning pages is just a stream of consciousness 
um, and it doesn't matter what you write. And then sometimes with my guidance and using the cards as a personal point of um, introspection, I, I use the, the cards and I just journal like whatever is in my mind without a filter onto the page. And it has helped me to clarify the direction that I want to go in my life and tap into like what my heart is really calling me to do. And it's led me in some fantastic directions into like the hospital and helping patients use art as part of their health healing and recovery process. And it's led me on my own journey. It's led me to create a whole new body of work, have an exhibition and then create this studio. So it's super powerful. If you don't have a journaling practice, I'd really encourage you to sit down and um, just write. It's really amazing. Hard to believe the artist way. It's like 25 years old or something now because I remember looking at it in my early 20s. Really? Yeah. So I'm a big journaler and I'm starting a new brand called The Journal Lover. So I'm producing journals, like I've produced journals, but these are going to be downloadable journals. So yeah, the transformational right. stuff. So I, I second the journaling. And I know when I went through my divorce and separation and all that, I don't think I would have survived and has cleaned up as much stuff emotionally if I hadn't have journaled. <laughs> Yeah, it's powerful stuff. It really is. Because I think like we just keep lots inside of us and we yep. don't have a release. So that's why it's good to have like different ways that we can release. Um, and I think the painting feeds that. And also, I don't know if anyone else can relate, but for me, I sometimes don't know what I'm thinking or feeling truly until I write it down or tell someone else. So words are my way of understanding, just like art is as well, but my words are un my way of sort of unpacking what, what's going on for me. I don't know if yeah. anyone else can relate to that. I agree. So my inner critic's coming up and I'm like, this is like totally messy and all these people are like staring at me and thinking I'm an expert and I've just muddied up my paint. <laughs> So no, it's gonna, really good. I'm, I'm going to redirect Come my on. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure no one had that thought except for you yeah. because that's what our inner critic does. We're yeah. all going, oh, I wish I could do mine that good. <laughs> <laughs> so how's everyone going? Does anyone have... Any feedback or comments on like the process? Um, it's hard not to be like, oh damn, I wish I did this um, while doing it. Trying to switch off that um, chatter of, oh, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? But it's yeah. relaxing other than that. <laughs> I think it's a really interesting thing to go through the process and be really mindful of your thoughts. Mm. I went through like a big roller coaster of emotions when I was, was creating my new body of work. And yeah. I think, you know, when you haven't created in a long time or haven't let yourself play like this, it just feels, can be, it can feel quite stifling. And then like all of that, that narration in your head and, you know, these messages, they come from childhood. They, they're, they're unhealed wounds within ourselves. And it could be like a parent or a teacher or someone in your life that might have criticised something in, in, in you and then you felt that there was like something wrong. And so it's, it's, you have to remember it's the scared part of ourselves, within ourselves, that, that little inner child that's sort of scared and it's trying to protect you. Um, in some way and it's really good just to be gentle and compassionate with yourself and just remind yourself that um you know it's it's okay for those thoughts to be there but we can also consciously shift them into a better 
a better space. And I guess this is what, like, the whole thing of, like, flipping those negative feelings within ourselves and setting those new positive intentions into. And Megan was just sharing, she finds she doesn't know what will happen and keeps reminding herself to just surrender. And that applies to the coronavirus and to painting. Mm. Um, yeah. And I think if you just surrender, like I'm not an artist per se, but um, I do acrylic pouring. And what I like about that is you are co-creating with the universe and you have no idea what that's going to look like. So you do have to surrender. Yeah, it is about like letting, letting go of your expectations and just allowing yourself to be guided. Yeah, um, and taking the pressure off that this has to be something that has to be hung on the wall. Yeah. Like this doesn't have to be hung on the wall. No. <laughs> Mine definitely does not need to hang on the wall and that's not what this is about, you know, this type of painting. It's more the therapeutic sort of it's like a sacred date with yourself and your paints <laughs> and you might um you might throw it away and that could be a really good feeling of relief for you it could just be like oh I've let that go um or you could just paint over it like when we've got more time <laughs> um you could use it as a basis for something you could rip up your piece of paper and use it as part of a collage because it could be like a really nice little mm -hmm. corner that you want to use. There's so many ways that you can use this process. Um, I guess it's just about teaching you like different tools that you can use for personal introspection and healing and ways to, to shift whatever we're feeling. I'm just muting you, Amy, I think it is, or someone has a little kid, which sounds so cute. <laughs> um, so are you, what sort of paper and paints are you using? You're using acrylic and... Yeah, so I'm using acrylic paints. If anyone's interested in the brands, um, I love using Matisse because they've got like a really good pigment count and it's like really high quality. Um uh, also at um, Riot Art, they've got Holcroft is a pretty good brand too. Like they've they've got some nice vibrant colours as well, and that's a little bit cheaper than the Matisse. Um, I like using the fluid Matisse as well because that's already um, quite mm. loose and free, and I don't have to use much water. And then the base is um, watercolour paper. Yep, cool. Thank you. And Jolene shared something lovely. Um, Tamara Levitt's quote, it's when we step back from a single brush stroke that we can see the whole painting, true of life, art, etc., which is true. Oh, that's, that's great. Beautiful. I love Thank that you, quote. Thank you, Jolene. Hi, I just want to share my, my painting too. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, let me... Is that you, Mabes? Yeah, it is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> all right, there we go. go. Oh, love those. I was just doing grass strokes as well. Are you spotlighting it at the moment? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I've got everyone on because I'm spotlighted too, I think. I've got Laura. Let me as just beautiful see. as you are. No, hang on. No, it should be showing you. I've spotlighted it. But oh, great. I can see. Okay. So that's it's lovely. Wonderful. It reminds me of Tulip Storm. Yeah, I just kind of painted like uh, the colors that I relate with those feelings with, um, yeah, on that. And then I just kind of filled the back blanks. <laughs> Amazing. Is that, is that watercolor paint? This is gouache. Oh, yeah, it looks lovely. I love gouache. It's yeah, because I thought gouache can cover <laughs> some of the words, but it can't. <laughs> can't completely. Yeah. All right. I am going to leave my painting there and I'm going to continue painting this after the call. Um, I feel like um, we've got uh, nearly 10 minutes left. Yeah. So we, we might have like a little, um, a little chat. At yes. The end, yeah? 
So what I'm going to do is just say goodbye to the people that are watching on Facebook. Thank you for joining us. Feel free to share a picture of your painting with us on the Facebook uh, video feed or on the event wherever you want um, or tag me. I'd love to see it as well or Laura. Laura. Um, so this event is proudly brought to you by my little project, a free project called the Virtual Care Basket, which I started three weeks ago when things were starting to go downhill as a result of the coronavirus. So I created an online resource where people could download free gifts from the people in my network that I know some amazing people and I'm still adding things daily. And then I started having events. So there's events nearly every day. So if you want more information and to sign up just for updates, so it's not a list building exercise for my normal business or anything like this. It's just a coronavirus project. Um, so you can go to virtualcarebasket.com and we've got things um, every day, but on the weekend I have a rest. So <laughs> thank you. So we'll stop sharing. Hi, this is Aisha again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe and to check out the website virtualcarebasket.com. You can also find out more about me at aishahilton.com. Have a fabulous day.